everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Katie here and today I have my mama, <laughs> Denise Austin, joining me because today is National Wine Day. So cheers to that. Cheers, we love our wine. We love our wine. We love to work out, stay fit, but at the same time, have fun and live our life. So that's, right. that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Yes. Time to mellow out a little. <laughs> yes, and how exactly, what my mom has really always done an amazing job at is, you know, she's known for being a fitness queen, but Woo! I don't know if everyone knows this, that she likes to have a lot of fun. And she also- <laughs> I still dance on yes. tables. Oh Woo! yeah, oh yes. And she also raised two kids and she, you know, she did it all. And so I brought her on my channel today to kind of talk to you guys about how are, what are favorite tips on how to really balance your whole life? Because we got a lot going on. Our yes. social life, um, our careers, our relationships, our maybe our families, um, and we want to stay fit during that all. So yes. I brought my mama to talk Yay. about some of that stuff. Okay, first of all, here's a few tips about wine. I love wine, but I try not to do more than two glasses of wine. And between each glass of wine, I make sure I drink about eight glasses of water. Yes. Oh wait, not eight glasses, eight uh, ounces. Eight ounces. <laughs> That's a lot. One little glass uh, of water. You can a lot, trust yeah. me. Nope. Like, oh, gotta Just go to the bathroom eight again. ounces of water. Yes. And I've I, already had a few sips. <laughs> and I rarely I'm a, see, a lightweight. I rarely see my mom go over two glasses of wine. I don't think she really ever goes over two glasses. No, no. Everything in moderation. Yeah. I enjoy myself with my wine, but I don't overdo it because I want to feel good the next day. But yeah. here's another tip. Just do about three fingers of red wine, right like that. I I already had a few, but about she three fingers. Three. And it depends what kind of size glass you have too. You can have true. a fat one and really go all the way, but it's just a, just a good little eyeing thing for you to realize. Yes. And did you know Pinot Noir has less sugar Ooh. than of other red wines? Ooh. So that's another good tip if you're into low sugar, of Do course. Do you suggest rosé, white wine, or red wine? Whatever you guys love. I love red wine. It has a few more health benefits. I'm into the health part of it. Okay. But remember, moderation is important. Yes. And be balanced when you're drinking. I don't drink every night, of course. Right. So that's <laughs> exactly what we want to talk about today. Balance yes. and how we balance our lives and time management. That's key. I have personally seen my mom throughout the years be this fitness queen, but at the same time, she enjoys life. She, you know, has balance here and there. She prioritizes her time right. She's great at time management. I mean, having a full career and, and, and a whole empire and then and also kids. taking care of us, my, my sister and I, and having, you know, just everything on how to prioritize time. And so, um, Basically, what's your biggest tip for that? Well, first of <laughs> all, it's all about balance and how to squeeze in everything you want to do because that's important. So what I do is I wake up in the morning and I have my cup of coffee because I love my coffee and I get in my 30 minute workout. I get it in because that way I'm refreshed for the day and I don't have to think about how am I going to squeeze it in. I don't right. mess up my thoughts by what time am I going to get in my workout. Well, I also think what helps for her is waking up early. I know you're super into being a morning person. I yes. think that really helps you too, to be productive for the whole day. Also, when you get your workout in in the morning, I just feel so much more productive the whole entire day. I feel like I'm not worrying about my workout anymore. I got it done, so I feel more energized to do other things. And you do. And you do. And your metabolism stays up to about four hours after your yes. workout. So it's that afterburn that's so important, especially the way you work out and all Her your workouts. workouts. Her yes. hit workouts are so effective. For sure. Research shows that just a quick hit workout can keep your metabolism raised up up to four hours. Wow. So that is fantastic way to get your heart rate up, to keep it up through HIIT workouts. That's why yeah. I love your HIIT workouts. I can only do them a couple times a week, honey, because they're that's so darn hard. A couple hard. times a week is a lot. <laughs> yes. But that's why we drink our wine, we work out, we Mellow burn out. It. And I also want to talk about how to prioritize your time. So, you know, there's so many things us girls and older women want to do in life. You know, we want to have a social life, we want to be fit, we want to find that time to work out, but also eat really healthy and go to work and do really good at our careers. So 
it is hard having it all. And I really personally think, even for me, I struggle with prioritizing my time. Yes. And so I think finding, first off, I always write a to-do list. Every night before yes. I go to bed, I write a to-do list of what I have to do the next day. That way it's not all, you know, I'm not, I don't have crazy stress, crazy anxiety, thinking about everything that I have to do the next day. And I kind of just get done what I can do. And I always, I always hear this quote, where it says you have the same amount of hours in a day as Beyonce, 24 hours. <laughs> but I actually hate that quote. And I heard it the other, I heard it so many times. I mean, I heard it even last week giving a speech and someone said it and I was like, okay, that's not fair because Beyonce has help. Beyonce has so many people around her doing everything and like she asks for help, she has an assistant. It's like, so we can't really compare ourselves to these other women and who are killing it in the industry because honestly, like they have helped, they've been doing it for so long and you are exactly where you need to be. And I think that's really important to remember. And if you are struggling with time management, you can ask for help. If you're struggling, you know, with your fitness goals, with starting a career or anything like that, it is totally fine to ask for help. If it's you, good to ask for help. It's great to ask for help. And I actually just learned that piece of advice too because um, struggling, you know, building and being an entrepreneur, yes. I, I feel like I sometimes need to do everything myself. But to ask for help is so important. Ask your one of your best friends to come over and cook healthy food with you, to work out with you. So to have a glass help, of wine ask, with you. Yes, <laughs> totally. So asking for help is huge. I, I truly believe that. I had a lot of friends as I grew up with helping raise you girls. Girls, they would come over they would help out we believed in helping each other and supporting each other especially when you have kids but mainly to squeeze in that workout early to me is important because in it kind of sets your mind all yeah. day how are you going to eat well and how are you going to be productive it gives you that opportunity to say I'm worth it I can do this I accomplished totally. my workout I overcame procrastination and laziness it's that mark of a winner so I think a fitness routine in the morning Morning, really kind of sets your day and then you can get a lot done totally and off that note of procrastination I know our mom's generation didn't really deal with it but constantly online looking at YouTube Instagram Facebook Twitter whatever waste it is, of time whatever the it is these days these kids are doing but you to find that time to really turn it off and to really stop comparing yourself to um, other people on social media because when you are comparing yourself, you're actually limiting your full potential. So if you're online for say over three hours a day, I mean, there's like crazy statistics about how many how many times people look at their phone. Yeah, and, and so, hurting your neck, leaning over and looking yeah, at it. Not only that, but posture. wasting time. There's wasting yes. so much time where you could be doing so many other things that you could be getting done and feeling good about Do yourself. you, do your life. Exactly, yeah. so I think that's also a really big part about prioritizing time is to kind of cancel out those little things like looking at Instagram too many times or looking at Snapchat too many times and that'll actually build you a lot of time. Yes. You can really do things and focus on things that you love which is really important. That's great. Prioritizing yes. your time and yeah. really watching that because it's important. Also before you go to bed turn off those uh, phones. I need to work on that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring your laptop to bed. You need your sleep. Sleep is beauty sleep. It makes you feel good. It gives yeah. you energy every day. So sleep is so important. And that's why I really believe one hour before you go to bed, try not to have anything on. No lights, no computer, no phone. It makes a difference how you feel and how you wake up happy and totally. you just feel better. Totally. And also when you're, when you're constantly looking on social media, it kind of um, makes you, I already kind of said this, but not to you know, be your full potential. But at the same time, you also in life need to have perspective. So making sure that you, you're not comparing yourself to anyone else, but knowing that, you know, the person next to you is, is struggling too maybe, or, you know, it's not you always never know. perfect yes. online. And so I think that's a huge part about, um, that even plays into prioritizing your time is having pers perspective on that. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's just one day and tomorrow you've got this and, you know, other people have it harder than you are. Like, and you and never, face, know, you what never know what they're struggling with. And yes. so that's also really important to remember. It truly is. And to be grateful for every single day. Yes. Each day is a gift. 
really believe it. Yeah. You are worth it. You're unique in all you do. Make the best of what you can do. And that's the beautiful thing. And find what you love. That's what I did. I found what I love and have a passion. And I'm so happy you did too. Yes. And that makes me feel good too. And then do the best you can at that. And don't beat yourself up. Yes. It's not worth it. Don't waste days beating yourself up. Because you know you have one life to live. Live it all you got and do what you can. And you're enough. Uh, just being you, being different is good enough. That's huge. You are enough. And I think yeah. uh, going off that, gratitude is one of the most important things to have, no matter who you are. I'm thankful for grateful. our wine. And I'm grateful <laughs> for that. And my daughters. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So I want you guys to leave this video thinking what you are grateful for. Write down three things that you are grateful for in your life and write also, also write some things down that you love about yourself and how you know how you are living your best life. That's great. So. And I have a little exercise tip. Oh, Working yeah. with our wine bottles. Okay, everyone, we're gonna do some bicep wow. curls. Come on. Right. Wow. <laughs> and then some push-ups. <laughs> and then tricep toners. Triceps, working the back of those arms. Firm it up. Woo! You can do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are just fun ways to know that you can get fit at any time throughout the day. Your muscles don't know if you're in the kitchen or in a fancy, fancy gym. gym. So, heard that life. quote. She uses that Come all the time. You can do it. <laughs> Woo! Right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy National Wine Day. Yay! Cheers, Cheers to that. everybody. And thanks to my mom for coming on my channel today. Thank you. I love it. It's and so fun. Yes. It's and fun to work with her. Have a great day. Yay! Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, oops. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> life happens. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>